girl, Lou, she did it again! She's got the poop soup in there. Ooh, that's stinky in here. I wish you guys had smell of No, you don't wish you had smell of it. Don't go in the water! No. Two in the water, which is gonna be absolutely horrible. Lucy is 20 foot two inches long. Is she the largest snake in Michigan? Come on, girl. Cooperate with me a little bit. Here she's coming. Okay, look, well, come on, Lucy. I gotta get her out. Get her in. It is hard wrangling a snake this size. But I had a friend of mine, Chance, actually reach out to me and said that he got a 22 foot reticulated pike. That she's gonna be here in a little bit. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Is Lucy dethroned as the longest snake in Michigan? We'll find out in the meantime. <sighs> it's stinky in there. Right. Of course, Gemma here. Oh, she is a big snake as well. She's not quite as big as Lucy. We thought that she might be close to 20 foot. But when we measured her, she actually only turned out to be a little bit under 18 foot. So she is certainly a big snake. And that's the thing about giant snakes. When you look at them, you think, this has got to be like 25 foot. That's why field measurements of giant snakes often are like 30 plus foot. But there's never been a snake that's ever been measured over 25 in captivity. And of course, you remember my buddy Dev has that giant snake, Juliet. She is a giant snake. Absolutely amazing. And she's only about 18 foot. And apparently this snake is four foot longer. I had to come here to find out to see if it's true. Talk about a giant snake. And Chance is here with this giant snake, and she is absolutely Ooh, big. Watch out. Whoa. Come on, little girl. It's all right. She's a beautiful snake. This is supposed to be a lavender motley. There actually could be some mocha in here as well. Because she's definitely very light. She certainly is thicker. There is no doubt about that. This girl is a long snake. So it'll be interesting to see how long it is. We're going to actually measure this snake. We're going to find out if Lucy at 20 foot 2 inches is still the longest snake that I know of in Michigan, or if this snake actually beats it. I don't know. Absolutely. Holy water. Whoa, where am I? Okay, here I am. Okay. Noah, bud! Jump in! You guys got a hand Okay, okay. Why does Noah always get the, like, the easiest part? Because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Listen, by now, if you don't know, there's actually going to be a event of August in Orlando called Animal Con USA. All of your favorite creators, over 100 creators from fish, reptiles, birds, small animals, are going to be there. You guys can be at the end of August in Orlando. I'll put a link in the description, and you can go to AnimalConUSA.com. Buy your tickets now, because once they run out, they're not going to be available. Meet your favorite creator. No, I'm so proud of the way you handle these snakes like this. I mean, I know it's like no effort at all. I know. So good. Oh, snakes, back to back, happens. stomach to stomach. Ah. <laughs> stomach to back. <laughs> and make sure you stick around till later in the vlog because we're going to actually measure this girl and find out exactly how long she is. She's about 12 inches. So Chance just didn't bring a giant reticulated python. brought a bunch of other really cool animals. Yeah, this is the blue in Solaris. This is a pit viper from Indonesia. And, uh, it's a little bit of a runner. It can be solid blue, which is just absolutely incredible. This one likes to go a little bit. Pit viper. Not really potent venom. This one get bit by any venomous snake. It's going to get quite a bit larger. And when it gets larger and gets really blue looking, oh my god. You see pictures on the internet and you're always like, what a blue snake. This is the snake right here. So Chance and Dev aren't the only ones that came to visit today. My buddy JT, he actually came and he brought some amazing animals as well. This is crazy, dude. Purple Haze Western Diamondback. I didn't even know there was a Purple Haze Western Diamondback. So this is actually a T-positive albino bred to a hypo that makes Purple Haze, right? It doesn't even look like a rattlesnake, which is crazy. Definitely a pit viper. Don't want to get bit by something like this because they have absolutely horrible hematoxin. It's going to rot your skin away, there's no doubt about that. Now look at that head, that typical. Western Diamondback head and the little buttons on the end of the tail here. This one's a quiet one. Doesn't she want to rattle at all, but you said that you gotta be careful. You gotta with be her careful arm. with her because she won't rattle and she'll spaz out real quick. Oh my god, that is unusual. And then basically in the same family as the Insularis is this guy. Tell me a little bit about this one. So this is a job and flat nose pit viper. Just look at that head pattern on it right there. You see the similarities of that Insularis just in a different color. Kind of reminds me of a Solomon Island boa, but would pack a lot yeah. bigger punch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you definitely would. And apparently they get bigger than this. They even get bigger. Yeah, apparently the females can get up to like three foot. Wow. That's, that's what I've been amazing. told. They're like, like sausage size Ooh, around. Ooh, chunky little monkey. Apparently I'm playing the poop too. Let's do this. I mean, come on. Oh my goodness, this stinks so bad. Why does she got to do this on the most busy day? Oh, that one was a stinker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like bobbing for a brown apple. I mean, seriously, look at the size of these things. It is an apple. Let me grab that mic. Let me get in there. Let me let me grab that real quick. Yeah, put that on in there. Yeah, get your hands. <laughs> How did Mike get this job, do you think? I don't know. Half the time I'm wondering even what he does every day, to be honest with you. I don't know. I saw him texting, and now he just... It's been 27 He's minutes. He's afraid of poop. Dev's afraid. in there like a savage, just picking up the poop with his hands. He didn't even have to. He grabbed it, sniffed it. I don't know, man. He's going to have to have a talk with him. I got a tooth! No. Oh, it smells terrible. Smell it's that. a no. poop tooth. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever to get bit by Lucy... <laughs> 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 
over dramatic, over dramatic. If you ever to get bit by Lucy, this is what you're gonna get bit by. Can you imagine 200 teeth like that in that mouth? My dad's no gonna thing. measure it later, but Mike and I are gonna do the real method. Head to toe, yeah. let's go. We're about 11 feet long together, go ahead. What does that look like? Uh, that's about 11 feet right there. Uh, yeah? Five feet, so 16 to 18 feet. 27 foot. Then, um... Back to one of my favorites, the Kisterdon stuff. Tell me what's up with this one. So this is a hypermelanistic copperhead that was wild caught out of Kentucky. So the hypermelanistic just means it's darker, right? You know, melanism is that like dark pigment. Normal copperhead is gonna be really light, orangish look, yellows to them. You can see how this is almost like two tones dark, like it's almost shaded with a pencil, right? Yeah. That's why it's a hypermelanistic animal. It's got range like pretty much all like the Midwest, all the way to the East Coast, quite a bit south. Really a beautiful, beautiful animal. There's a lot of lore about copperheads, right? You know, people think like, oh, they're always killers and stuff like that, but they're actually very timid animals. There's not a lot of bites. And even when you do get bit by something like this, it's typically relatively mild. It doesn't really cause serious hospitalizations. You might have to go into the hospital and get a little anti -benign. but there's probably very few recorded deaths in history with a copperhead, to be honest with you. One of my favorite pit vipers is definitely the temple viper. These guys are just so incredible. I mean, look at how insane that animal is. Probably not quite half grown. They'll get pretty large for a pit viper. The pattern and the color of these guys are incredible. I don't know, there's something about that triangular head. Again, a more mildly venomous, definitely front fang pit viper. So you definitely don't want to get bit by something like this. But when it does bite, you typically aren't going to die. You're not going to lose fingers that often unless you have a bad anaphylactic reaction. Absolutely it. wonderful snake. Look at that thing. So I've been talking about pretty mild venomous snakes here quite a bit, but this particular one is not so mild. This is what they call a Russell's viper. And this animal is actually really responsible for a tremendous amount of deaths over in the Southeast Asia, especially in India. I mean, this is the animal that lives in the rice field. And of course, as workers are working in those fields, oftentimes they're bitten by these Russell vipers because they'll literally just barrel into the side of the actual mound. They're gonna get quite a bit larger, probably you know two and a half, three foot, maybe even a little bit bigger. But unfortunately, these are ambush hunters. So what happens is people are out working and just you know walking around, typically in areas that don't have very good medical care, they end up getting bit by these guys, and their toxin is really, really potent. So of course they end up perishing. Ooh. Again, Russell's viper, beautiful, beautiful snake, but definitely not one to get mucked with at all because you do not want to get bit by something like this, right? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. You're like, okay, that's the one snake I don't want to get bit by, but us. Yeah, my Bushmaster. Yeah, uh, Bushmaster is another one. There's no doubt about that. And we've actually seen that. Perfect. I put a card right here because he's brought in his Bushmaster before. It's absolutely incredible. So thank you for bringing no stuff. Problem. These guys always bring me the coolest stuff to play with. Best way to measure a big snake like this is one of two ways. You can build two boards and actually let them crawl through it that way, or you can use the string effect. Now the string effect's a little bit more dangerous, especially with a big tick like this. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the right, channel. channel, 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 channel. She's cooperating really well. She's just kind of climbing straight through the thing. Just keeps on crawling through. I just have to keep on going here. This is definitely one of the easiest times I've ever done it. Interesting enough, look at that line right there. That's Gemma. And we have just the tail left. So she's definitely bigger than Gemma. There's no doubt about that. So we're gonna make a mark here. And then we're gonna measure it up with the tape measure. So Mike actually said Gemma was actually what? 16 and, 16 and a half foot? 16 and a half. So I thought she was almost 18 foot. So if that's the case, this is the difference between Gemma and this snake right there. Almost two foot. But there's only one way to find out. Let's measure. Oh, I gotta get the thing. Hurry up. Stop! I gotta get the excitement. Whoa! Portillo's! It's coming at 11.30. I like hot dogs. Dad's buying? Dad's buying? Buying what? Buying Portillo's? I didn't hear anything about this. That's what everybody told me. Really? Uh, six chocolate cake shakes. Six of them? That's two more than last time! Beth goes, really Mike? That's it? I was like, okay, and fries. It's like she knows that. Ow! Pee water? Poop water? We're different now. Dang it. Right. I'm gonna use the 30 foot tape measure because one day I am gonna measure a snake that is 30 foot long. I sure hope so. I hope in my life I find it. Let's find out how big this girl is. Oh, you wanna hold this end? Yeah, pull. Oh. Let's see, we're at 10 foot. 15 foot, which is a big snake. Gemma. It was almost 17 foot. And this girl is, oh my gosh, 19 foot, three inches long. That is a big snake. Not quite 20 foot, but honestly, bigger than I thought. 19 foot, three inches long. That is pretty close. That's only about 11 inches shorter than Lucy. But Lucy still is the longest snake that I know of in Michigan. We win. I absolutely love this snake. And it's a very familiar snake because I see it almost every single day because I have a tattoo of it on my arm. That's right. These guys are little bush wipers. Absolutely incredible. Tell me a little bit more about this one. Uh, this is a new male I just picked up. So now I have a group of 1.3. I got nice. the one blue female that I got, for, uh, got from the babies uh, from last year. Now I got another blue female. And she's got this really nice black speckling on her back yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh and then gosh. I got him now. So I'm hoping that I'm going to pair them up here soon and maybe get some babies That's out of them. That's amazing. Yeah. And again, males stay a lot smaller than females, but they have those interesting scales that actually protrude out. They almost look like they've got like little spikes all over. Just a really cool snake. Love these guys to death. It's just always a 
pleasure to see all these amazing snakes that I don't get to see every day here at the Reptarium. You guys may not know this, but when I was 17 years old, my first venomous snake I ever got was a copperhead. It didn't look anything like this copperhead. Tell me what is going on, because this doesn't even look like a copperhead. Okay, so she is a red phase angry thoristic morph, which comes in the spotted and tiger brand. It's just kind of like a mix of the bow. Oh my gosh, it's crazy, because of course copperheads look nothing like this. They're very banded, as a matter of fact, a lot of times you'll see the transpacos ones, which are the most, you know, kind of interesting banded ones. This one literally has dots and dashes. Reminds me more of like a viper you would see over in like Southeast Asia or something like that. Talk about chill, huh? Yeah, this thing is as chill as it gets. Look at this animal. She's super chill. This is a wild type morph that was found in the wild. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. And look at that. When I first saw this, I literally asked JT, I said, what the heck is it? Because I was like, it didn't look like any venomous snake I had ever seen before. Let's get my girl Lucy back. Still, what I think is the largest snake in Michigan as far as lengthwise goes. Although that was an absolutely monster snake and I loved it to death. Ooh, Come on, girl. The difference between Lucy is she loves to run. That snake was definitely a lot more mellow, but an absolute beauty. No one <laughs> never does anything. <laughs> Look at this. It holds her head up. Look at it. See that, Mike? Yeah, that's that much of the snake. I'm doing a whole... Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Lucy, now that she's back on food, she's going to get that girth back. She's going to even grow more this year. We'll have to measure her maybe in the fall to see if she's grown at all. Large snakes like that just make it so incredible. It was cool when we got that snake out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>